Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today's tutorial will be over Parallels Desktop, which is software that will allow you to run Windows and Windows applications on your Mac. It will also let you run Linux and any other desktops like, uh, say, Linux distros like Ubuntu, Backtrack, uh, Fedora, anything that you, uh, any operating system that you want to run on your Mac that you have a virtual image of you'll be able to do this using the Parallels software very easily. So, I'm going to take you to their website. This is Parallels. website is Parallels.com. This is a brief introduction to what Parallels is. So if you want to find out any more information, something that you don't get from this video, go to this, desk, go to this website, type it in your browser, watch the cool videos, and just see what exactly it can do. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys Parallels. Um, I have a virtual machine set up with Windows 7 operating system. I believe it's Windows 7 Professional. And you'll be able to see that in action. So to begin, I'm going to launch my Parallels application. I have it saved here on my dock. You'll see the three operating systems I currently have set up, Windows 7, Ubuntu Linux, and Backtrack. To turn Windows 7 on, I'm going to hit the power button. You'll see Windows 7 launch in a Windows mode, I'm sorry, in a window mode. You should see the loading screen pop up, there it is. And what's pretty cool is that as you see Windows 7 launching, you can also switch back and forth between your Mac, here's my dock, and Windows 7. So it makes it extremely convenient for somebody that wants to, I guess, multitask or, or bounce from uh, back and forth between both um, operating systems, you can very easily do that. You can see that Windows 7 opened and, and launched fairly quickly. It wasn't too slow. I'm running a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, it's Mac OS X Mountain Lion, an i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM. So my specs aren't too outrageous, but uh, it launched the virtual machine pretty easily and uh, pretty fast. So that's quite impressive, even faster than some Windows 7 PCs launch, or at least initially boot. But uh, here it is. I'm currently in window mode, I'm trying to show you guys you can bounce between both the Mac operating system down here, and I can go back to using Windows. Pretty cool stuff. So now I'm going to go into a full screen. And the way I'm going to do that is click View and enter full screen. There we are. So again, if you wanted to run Windows or uh, Windows applications on your Mac, rather than installing, you know, con application converters, I guess, like Wine or something, you can use a software like Parallels to just install the entire operating system. It won't take up too much space as long as you allocate it properly, and uh, you'll be able to, to run that, um, you know, operating system specific application that you need to run with Windows. So you can see everything's the same, there's nothing different. This is an actual you know, valid copy of Windows 7 Professional. You can see my specs here, what I've allocated towards it, 1 gig, 64-bit, Windows 7, I'm sorry, this is ultimate, not professional. But um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down now. We'll see the shutting down screen. We should be prompted back to our... Mac desktop. And that's as simple as that, guys. Again, if you want to run Windows or Linux or any other desktop on your Mac, uh, if you want to run Windows applications on your Mac, you would very easily do it by installing software like Parallels Desktop. It would allow you to create these virtual desktops, these virtual machines, and be able to um, use it just for that purpose. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash itconflict. Our website is www.itconflict.com. We're also on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash itconflict. And follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash itconflict. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Please subscribe and please comment. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks again.